Ah, uh, vocal tuning. I don't need it when I sing, but some people do. Kidding. <laughs> Everyone needs a little tuning on their live vocals, especially when they're going to be heard on a live stream. After making our live stream viewers suffer for a couple of years, we decided it was finally time to implement vocal tuning at my church. We have the X32 and I wanted to find a way to implement vocal tuning without buying any new hardware. I figured it out. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to get vocal tuning set up using the X32's built-in USB audio interface along with Waves Tune running on our existing computer. So this wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. It took a few long walks and a few failures to get it right. But look at you, here learning from my mistakes. At first, I thought it would be as simple as sending a raw vocal input to Waves Tune and then back to a channel on the X32. I got it all configured and it worked great. Then, my vocalists put in their in-ears using the P16 personal mixer and that's when it all went south. There was no way to get the raw vocal to the P16, only the tuned vocal. And for a vocalist to hear their tuned vocal in their in-ears is quite a strange experience. So back to the drawing board, I had this genius idea of sending all of my vocal channels to Waves Tune, and then back to the mixer through a stereo pair of returns. So I disabled the individual channels on the main mix so that the tuned vocals could come through those returned channels. For this to work, I had to use some MIDI magic to link the X32's faders to Ableton's faders, and. This enabled me to send the raw vocal to the P16s while using the tuned vocal in the room and the live stream mix, everything seemed great until it came time for a test run. Turns out this solution had a fatal flaw. You can't include channel compression and EQ with the tuned vocal due to routing tap point restrictions. Sure, you could program all your audio processing in Ableton, but I would rather keep all that on the X32. So I found two ways that didn't work and was really feeling like a failure at this point. How could the Collaborate Worship guy not figure this out? What a shame. A few days later, another idea sparked, and it turned out to be the winning solution. So enough of the storytelling. Let me show you how to do it. But before we move forward, you need to know that you'll need two input channels for every vocal you want to tune. So make sure you have enough available channels on your mixer. If you don't, this solution will not work for you. The first step is to download the software needed to run Waves Tune. You'll need the Waves Tune real-time plugin and a supported DAW. For this video, I'm going to show you how to get it set up with Ableton Live. But there's a lot of other supported DAWs as well. So if you want to use something else like Adobe Audition or Logic Pro, go for it. Waves even has their own called Multirack. But for this video, I'm going to use Ableton. I'll include a link below where you can download a free trial of Ableton as well as where you can buy the Waves Tune real-time plugin. Once you have your software installed and ready to go, you'll need to connect your computer to the USB audio interface on the back of the X32, and then set the card configuration to 32 in, 32 out. And now you'll need to change a few preferences in Ableton. Head to Ableton Preferences. On the Audio tab, set Input Device to XUSB. Set Output Device to XUSB. Click Input Config, and select the amount of mono inputs you'll need. I have four vocals, so I'll select the first four. Then click OK. Click Output Config and use the same configuration as you just put into the Input Config and click OK. To minimize latency, set buffer size to 32 samples. But keep in mind this requires more processing power, so if your computer ends up having a hard time, come back and increase the buffer size. Next on the Plugins tab, enable VST3 and click Rescan. Since you already installed Waves Tune on your computer, this will connect it to Ableton. Once this is done, you can close the Preferences screen. Now we'll need to set up our channels in Ableton. Since I have four vocals, I'll create four audio channels. For Audio From, select External to receive audio from the X32 and set the channel to 1. Set Monitor to In. For Audio 2, select External to send audio back to the X32. Set the channel to 1. Repeat this process for each channel and increase the channel number for each. Now let's insert the Waves Tune plugin on each channel. Click Plugins, VST3, Waves, and now drag the Waves Tune mono onto each channel. Next, you'll need to get routing configured on the X32. But before you do, be sure to save a scene so you can revert back if you need to. There are multiple ways you could set up your routing configuration. I like to use the user patch points for maximum flexibility. 
it would be really boring and hard to follow for me to explain all this on video. So I put together a routing cheat sheet for you to download. Use the link in the description. Go ahead and press pause and go download that now because you'll want to reference it as you work through the rest of this video. If routing on the X32 makes your head swim, check out my course called X32 Mastery. In it, I walk you through every routing screen and by the end of it, you'll know exactly what you're doing. I'll put a link in the description to where you can get access to X32 Mastery. All right, like I said at the start of this, you'll need two channels for every tuned vocal. Let me show you how I set mine up. I have my tuned vocals on channels one through four. So the signal here is coming from my card input. I have my untuned vocals on 29 through 32. So the signal here is coming from wherever you have your microphones plugged in. In my case, the digital snake. The reason you need both is because the tuned vocals are for the main mix and the live stream mix. The untuned vocals are for your monitor mixes. Now, another benefit of this is that you have a fail safe. If the computer crashes in the middle of a service, you'll lose your tuned vocals. But with this setup, you have a backup plan. Simply turn the tuned vocals down and then turn up your untuned vocals and you save the day. Once you've used my routing cheat sheet to get everything configured like you want it on your mixer, everything should be working. But there is still one more thing you need to know. When it comes to setting gain, you'll need to do this on your untuned vocal channels, not your tuned vocal channels. You can only adjust trim on your tuned vocal channels since the signal is coming from the card. And I recommend leaving this at zero. Your untuned vocal channels are controlling the preamp, so that's where you need to set gain. This is a simple thing to do, but a tough thing to remember at first because you're used to setting gain on the channels that you're using to run your main mix. So you're gonna be dialing in everything else, compression, EQ, on your tuned vocal channels, but gain will have to be set on your untuned vocals that aren't even going to your main mix. It's kind of weird, so don't forget that. The default settings in the Waves Tune plugin work great, so I'm not gonna get into the details in this video. Of course, this is all a lot easier if you have a really good grasp on the ins and outs of your X32. If you don't feel like you're completely comfortable with it, I would recommend checking out my training called X32 Mastery. It is the fastest way to master the X32. Check it out at x32.church or click the link in the description. Now that you have vocal tuning set up, go try it out and come back and let us know how it goes in the comments. Or if you wanna keep learning how to create great sound, check out one of the videos on the screen. If you wanna see more videos like this, let me know with a like and subscribe so we can let you know when we post a new video. I'll see you next time. Hey, by the way, if you wanna see a before and after of my vocals tuned, it's linked on the screen and I'll also leave it linked down in the description.